Hello and welcome to episode 18 of Grape Escapes by Cold Storage with me Fiona Stevens, the beer, wine and spirits buyer for the group. Now today's theme is classic European red wines. Now with that I've got a wine from Spain, one from Italy and one from France. Now all I'll be doing is just giving you a little bit of an idea about the style and demystifying the labels because quite a lot of the old European classic regions don't actually tell you what the grape is or really give you an idea about the flavour. So I'm just going to help you with those. I hope you enjoy them. Firstly, we're going to Spain and the wonderful Rioja region. And this is from the fabulous family-owned winery, Muriel, who have history dating back to 1926. Now, this is their Grand Reserva 2010. And Grand Reserva just means that it's had the most time in bottle and in barrel as well. So Rioja, we go um, in different stages, right from the really fruity and young Hoven to Criantha to Reserva and then Grand Reserva. So Grand Reserva is the one that's had the most time in barrel followed by the most time in the bottle and this gives it really lovely evolved sort of savoury character as well as that lovely red fruit as well. So we've got ripe red berry notes uh, followed by this really wonderful roasted coffee bean and coconut notes that are coming from the oak, a hint of vanilla and a little bit of earthy and savoury notes as well. Medium bodied, fine tannins, it's got a little bit of grip but not too much absolutely delicious with roast lamb and obviously tapas so that old saying what goes grows together goes together is very true in this case uh, this actually won 93 points by James Suckling as well now it's normally $44 it's on offer at 38 for you at the moment exclusive to cold storage absolute classic give it a try Next on my list, we're going to go to the region of Barolo, which is in the north of Italy. And this is the wonderful exclusive to us by Matavinia and their 2015 Barolo. Now, Barolo is made by the grape variety Nebbiolo. Nebbiolo always looks really gentle in the glass and delicate and light because it's a really pale red colour. Don't be fooled by that. It's a bit of a silent assassin and it's actually really structural and powerful, which is wonderful and it matches really well with Italian foods that are full flavoured. This has got great red cherry notes, with then hints of dried rose petal and dried herbs as well, and this warm, spicy finish. It's full bodied, it's really structural, and it's got great components, so it's quite high alcohol, high acid, and quite high tannins as well. Now that means that it's perfect with things like spaghetti bolognese and other sort of uh, red meat dishes that you would find in Italy or beyond. It's normally $72. We've actually got it on offer at 66 at the moment. And I think you should treat yourself and have a wonderful Italian meal with it. Lastly, we're gonna to go to a classic region in the south of France, in the Southern Rhone Valley, and that is the region of Chateauneuf de Pape. And this one is actually from a company called Maison de Grand Esprit, who are well known for reinventing old classics by giving them a slightly modern twist and making them a little bit more fruit forward and approachable. Now, generally speaking, uh, Chateauneuf de Paps are a blend of Grenache, Syrah and Leverdre. Now Grenache is giving ripe red cherry notes and giving a little bit of opulence to the wine. Then we've got the lovely Syrah grape which is giving blackberry fruits and warming spices and then Leverdre which is giving structure and some sort of earthy character as well. This is full bodied but it's smooth and has got that wonderful spicy lifted finish. It's absolutely wonderful with sort of stewed red meat dishes and um, particularly fabulous with the Sunday roast as well. Normally $65 on offer for 60 at the moment. A really wonderful classic and I really think you'll enjoy it. Thank you for joining me this week to go through some of the European red wine classics. Just remember when you're looking at the label the name tends to tell you the region rather than the grape variety but if you have a little look on Google or look at some of my videos that will give you an idea of the grapes behind them and then the styles as well. I hope you've enjoyed this week and I look forward to seeing you next time.